Hey guys, GNT here, and man, we have finally reached the finale of Dragon Ball Super. And before I even get started talking about this last episode, there were two faces made by Jiren that just embodied my emotions for this entire episode. Like the first face, when Frieza was talking mad crap to him, that was like 75% of the episode for me. And the other face, <laughs> when Goku showed up, was the other 25. Like it's just, it had great moments in it, but still, it's it's Dragon Ball Super. And if you if you don't like Dragon Ball Super, this ending isn't gonna make it any better. And if you do like it, you're just gonna um, deal with this ending like you dealt with the rest of the series. So, <laughs> oh, as far as this episode goes, the first uh, first thing about it is the rest of this fight, the end of this fight, just lasts throughout almost the entirety of the episode, and that's oh, uh, hmm. That's a shame, because you can't really wrap this up, which, from the ending, you can tell that they're, they're going to bring it back, which, I mean, bring it back as in more than just a movie that's coming out later, which looks awesome, by the way, or at least the little snippet they gave us looked awesome, but as far as the episode goes, it, it's just, it's not a good wrapping up episode, so it's just, uh, it's, it's meh, but it's Dragon Ball. That was my biggest thing about the episode. It's not great, but it's Dragon Ball. You watch it and you feel like this is Dragon Ball, and mostly, I think my issues with the episode come from all the episodes leading up to it. Like, had this stuff been great up until this last episode, that ending might have been satisfactory, but because of the way that the series has been it just, it wasn't. It's, I'm sure it's not what a lot of people expected, because a lot of people expected the battle to end last episode. But instead, it dragged on and then ended in this one. So, from what we got out of this episode, basically it was Jiren losing, which, by the way, interesting thing. How he lost, that he lost to Goku and Frieza working together. Which, when I saw it, when I saw them power up Goku went Super Saiyan and stuff, I said, this is going to be an LR and Dokkan. <laughs> Just immediately, that's what my mind went to. I was like, this is going to be an LR and Dokkan. Oh. But yeah, it looked freaking amazing. That ending shot of them pushing him out of the freaking arena. It was, it was awesome. What was, what was left of the arena? Just rubble all over the place and... 17 being the last person <laughs> on the stage and winning, it's just, I don't think anybody could have seen that coming. Like, people joked about it, like, uh, 17's going to be the last person there. Nobody actually thought that was going to be what it was. You know, everybody assumed late in the game, you know, after Frieza started getting knocked around by Jiren, they were like, oh, Frieza's going to win this. He's going to be on the stage after all the aftermath is done. And no, it was 17. Crazy. Man. But again, like I was saying, that that's that's pretty much all the good stuff. <laughs> uh, I mean, 17 being the winner because I've grown to like him over this this last arc, it's cool. But a lot of stuff that he's done just Oh, it rubbed me the wrong way. It gave me jeer in face one. <laughs> but here was here was one of my major issues with this. Like, gosh darn it, I'm sick of seeing Seventeen make explosions on himself. You know, he put freaking Jiren in that bubble and blew up again. I mean, you know, it was it was it was blast from his hand this time instead of a giant explosion, but still, I'm so sick of that. Like, oh, oh, it's just awful. That's it is so bad. I'm sorry. But as far as, you know, 
them explaining away how Jiren was able to be on even footing with them is also weird because they say that Jiren, you know, lost a ton of power, but then all of a sudden he gained a ton of power. And then after he gained a ton of power, they were still at the same level. It's just, it's, it's Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Super, uh, you know, scaling wise and stuff makes no sense. Fight wise makes no sense. But if you're just here to watch it and enjoy the show, you might still get annoyed, but it's not, it's, it's not as bad as people who are like, man, you know, there's this power level and these people's power should not match up to this and blah, blah, blah. If you're hitting it for that, it's, it's just awful. But as far as having a good time, if you're just watching the fights just to watch a fight and have some fun, it's cool. That's, that's what Super's giving to you. Super is not giving you a great story. It's not giving you great character development besides, like, Vegeta. <laughs> it's just not giving you anything that you would expect out of something serious. Like, Dragon Ball Super is not the thing that you come to thinking, man, they're gonna get real deep on Krillin's character. Which, funny enough, he did have an episode that worked on him a little bit. As a matter of fact, he had two episodes that worked on him a little bit. But, you know, just, we, we didn't come for that. We came to see Goku punch some people. And possibly see the characters that we actually like punch some people too. It didn't happen that often. But, it happened on occasion. Like, my character, my favorite character was Gohan. And this series was not kind to Gohan. It just, it was not. And my phone thought when I said series that I said Siri. So, <laughs> it went off for a second. But it was not kind to Gohan at all. Like, even the Tournament of Power, it just, it's, it was not what I was hoping I would see. Because, like I was saying, Gohan fan here, big Gohan fan, and just did not get what I wanted out of him with this series. I thought, when they did Dragon Ball Super, this would be a great chance to get some more out of characters that we didn't see a lot out of. What we got was instead of just the Goku show, we got the Goku show with his sidekick Vegeta. <laughs> That's what it was. Gosh darn it. It's unfortunate, but this is this is Dragon Ball Super. It's <sighs> It's a meh series, and it had a meh ending. Like, I, I I dig the whole, we're gonna end this with the, the classic Goku and Vegeta pose. But even the pose looked kinda jank. It's, it's sad, and the whole, um, what do you call it, the theme song playing over the credits and stuff, at the very end of them doing a montage of what happened after the tournament was over, that was bad because they could have ended this fight last episode and then in this episode we could have gotten all that stuff instead of a cheap montage with a theme song it's just a lot of problems can be seen with this and I don't think anybody expected it to be great you know but we did expect to be satisfied and the biggest problem with Dragon Ball Super is that it's not satisfying. And that pretty much wraps up, for the most part, my feelings on this series as a whole. It's just not satisfying. You get some really hype moments. You get some cool characters introduced. But at the end of the day, it just it did not scratch the itch that... I had been waiting years to have scratched, you know? Oh man, it's unfortunate. And this is just my opinion. You can have a different opinion if you want to. Usually people do have different opinions from me. I mean, that's life. But as far as I'm concerned, Super is just it's it's just a thing that came and went. Like original Dragon Ball Z people 
people praised the crap out of Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Z had a lot of flaws, but it's something that everybody almost universally loves. And then you have what they tried to do afterwards, Dragon Ball GT, which has fans, but for the most part, a lot of people agree it's not great. <laughs> it's not good, and most people would say it's bad. But what we got out of the bad series was a couple of characters that people liked. I didn't really care for any of them, but people liked some of the characters from GT, you know? But here's the thing with Super. Super is neither. It's not something that people are gonna say is really bad. It's not something that people are gonna say is just really good. But it's just, it's just something that existed for a time and is gonna go away and might come back. And if it does, hopefully it'll come back better, stronger, but for now, the way this has ended, it's just a thing that's that was here and is now gone. It's nothing that anybody should particularly feel was amazing, you know? Well, some people will, you know, that's, that's with everything. With everything, there are people that feel that things are amazing and things are horrible. That's just the way it is. But overall, Super, it's just... It's it's just the show, man. That's, that's all it is. It's just the show. That's all it is. And maybe we'll look back on it. Like a lot of people look back on GT and think, uh, you know, because for the longest time, we thought GT was the last of Dragon Ball we were getting. So people were looking back on GT and they were like, you know, GT wasn't so awful. I can watch it again. <laughs> but when Super came out, they were like, Man, screw GT. GT sucked. Super's going to be awesome. And now, later on in time, we're going to be looking back on Super like, you know, Super wasn't as bad <laughs> as I made it out to be. It had Goku Black. <laughs> Which for me was my favorite part of Super. Like, Goku Black was my favorite thing out of this whole series. Zamasu, not so much. But Goku Black was freaking cool. Like, fight-wise and technique-wise, cool. Uh, Character-wise, I don't know. He's a hit-or-miss hit character for me. But, as far as everything about him, it was cool. And Super just... That's, that's what Super is. It has some cool things here. But, for the most part, it's hit-or-miss. And, at this point on, I'd just be rambling if I kept going. So, <laughs> I'm going to end this video here. Oh, I did enjoy being able to watch Dragon Ball again and see it new every week for the most part. And I am going to miss that, but at the same time, I can find something else to fill up the slot. So, anywho... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you didn't, tell me why you didn't. And hit the dislike. I don't care. But that's going to be the end of this. See you guys next time. Peace out. And have a great day.